Welcome, beloved friends, to today's empowering discussion on a profound spiritual topic, Receiving God's Call, Embrace Liberation and Embrace New Beginnings. In today's video, we'll delve deep into understanding God's calling, embracing liberation, and the beauty of new beginnings through the lens of Christian motivation. But before we begin, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming content. Let's get started. Imagine this call from God as a whisper amidst the chaos of our lives. It's a gentle yet resounding invitation, beckoning us to embrace a journey that transcends the mundane. This call isn't merely about following a set of rules or instructions, it's an intimate dialogue between the divine and our souls. It's an invitation to a transformative journey, one that challenges our perceptions, beliefs, and even our limitations. This journey is a labyrinth of self-discovery, where every twist and turn leads us closer to unraveling the depths of our purpose. God's call opens doors we never knew existed, unveiling new pathways we might have overlooked in our routines. It's an invitation to let go of the familiar, to release the grip of comfort and security, and step into the unknown with unwavering faith. This divine invitation doesn't promise a smooth road. Instead, it guarantees a roller coaster ride of experiences, some exhilarating, some daunting, each contributing to our growth and spiritual evolution. It's in those moments of challenge that our characters are refined, our faith fortified, and our spirits rejuvenated. Moreover, this call isn't a one time event, it's an ongoing conversation. It's a melody echoing through the chambers of our hearts guiding us through life's highs and lows, whispering wisdom in moments of solitude, and shining light in our darkest hours. God's call is an orchestra of possibilities, where every note played resonates with the rhythm of our souls. It's an invitation to co-create our destinies alongside the divine architect, crafting a life that reflects His love, grace, and compassion. So, when we speak of this divine call, it's not just an instruction manual, it's an invitation to dance to the symphony of life, harmonizing our steps with the cosmic choreography orchestrated by the divine conductor. It's an invitation to transcend the ordinary and embrace the extraordinary. Absolutely. Recognizing God's call isn't about waiting for thunderous proclamations or dramatic signs, it's about tuning into the subtle melodies that resonate within us. It's often that soft, persistent whisper amidst the noise of our lives that catches our attention. Sometimes, it's that inexplicable yearning for something more, an unexplainable longing that pulls at the strings of our hearts. It might emerge during moments of quiet reflection or even in the midst of our busiest days, gently tugging at our consciousness. Other times, it manifests as a sudden clarity cutting through the chaos of uncertainty, a moment of divine clarity that brings focus to our thoughts guiding us towards a path previously unseen. And then, there's that persistent feeling, a gentle nudge nudging us towards a new direction, a pull that refuses to be ignored, nudging us towards choices and opportunities that align with a grander design. God's call is often found in these subtle nuances of our inner landscape. It's the feeling of peace that washes over us when we contemplate a decision that aligns with His will. It's the inexplicable joy that accompanies following a path that seems uncertain but feels divinely ordained. Recognizing God's call requires a quiet mind, an open heart, and a willingness to listen. It's about creating spaces within ourselves to hear that whisper, to discern those nudges, and to recognize the signs guiding us towards our purpose. It's not about seeking grand gestures. It's about embracing the simplicity of those gentle whispers, acknowledging their significance and steering us towards a life that resonates with divine intention. Absolutely, embracing God's call is an act of courageous surrender. It's a willingness to release our grip on the familiar, to step away from the shores of comfort, and venture into the uncharted waters of faith. Often, it necessitates shedding the layers of self-imposed limitations that cloak our true potential. These limitations, born from fears and doubts, create barriers that hinder our spiritual growth and prevent us from fully embracing the divine purpose set before us. Liberation comes when we dismantle these barriers, when we confront and challenge our fears, doubts, and insecurities. It's a journey of self-discovery, where we realize that our limitations are often illusions that cloud our vision and restrict our ability to soar. To embrace God's call is to trust in His divine guidance implicitly. 
It's surrendering to a wisdom that surpasses our understanding, acknowledging that his plan for us is far grander than our limited perceptions can fathom. It involves relinquishing the need for absolute control and allowing his guidance to lead us, even if the path appears unclear. It's an act of faith, knowing that every step taken in alignment with his will is a step towards fulfillment and purpose. Embracing God's call is an invitation to liberation, to break free from the chains that bind us, to transcend the confines of our doubts and fears, and to embrace the boundless possibilities that unfold when we place our trust in His divine guidance. Absolutely, answering God's call doesn't promise an effortless journey. In fact, it often leads us through rugged terrains, challenging terrains, and unforeseen obstacles. These trials aren't meant to deter us, but rather to strengthen our faith and deepen our reliance on God's unwavering strength. It's in these moments of adversity that our faith is put to the test. Doubts may arise, and the path ahead might seem daunting. However, it's precisely within these struggles that our trust in God's providence grows. When faced with challenges, we learn to lean on His strength. We discover an unshakable resilience born from the realization that His power is made perfect in our weaknesses. These trials become opportunities to witness His faithfulness, experiencing firsthand His grace that sustains us through the storms of life. The difficulties encountered while walking the path of God's call serve a profound purpose, they refine our character, deepen our trust, and fortify our spirit. They transform moments of doubt into pillars of unwavering faith, reminding us that His plans are always greater than our trials. Moreover, these challenges become testimonies of His faithfulness. They serve as milestones, reminding us of the countless times He has carried us through difficulties, strengthening our conviction that His guidance is unwavering and His love unconditional. So, while the path may be fraught with obstacles and moments of doubt, it's these very challenges that shape us, molding us into vessels capable of carrying out His divine purpose with unwavering faith and conviction. Absolutely, prayer indeed becomes our sanctuary, a sacred space where we commune with the divine. It's not just a ritual but a heartfelt conversation with God, a channel through which we express our gratitude, seek guidance, and find solace in His presence. In those serene moments of prayer, we create a sacred connection with God, transcending earthly boundaries and opening our hearts to His wisdom and grace. It's in the stillness of these moments that we find the courage to turn the page, to release the weight of past mistakes that might otherwise burden our spirits. Prayer offers us the strength to embrace new beginnings. It's in this intimate communion that we gather the courage to step forward into uncharted territories, knowing that His hand guides our every step. In the presence of God, there's a reassurance that our past does not define our future. His forgiveness allows us to let go of the chains of regret and guilt, empowering us to walk confidently into the future He has envisioned for us. Through prayer, we align our desires with His will, surrendering our plans and aspirations to His divine wisdom. It's a surrender that brings liberation, a release from the burden of trying to control every aspect of our lives, and an acceptance of His perfect plan for our journey ahead. In those quiet moments of prayer, our spirits find renewal, our hearts find peace, and our souls find the courage to embark on the new beginnings He lays before us. It's a beautiful realization that in seeking His presence, we find not only guidance but also the strength to embrace the wondrous journey of life He has ordained for us. Absolutely, embracing God's call marks the commencement of a remarkable journey, a journey that heralds new beginnings brimming with hope, purpose, and divine blessings. When we heed His call, we step into a realm where our desires align with His divine purpose. It's a conscious decision to surrender our will to His, trusting that His plans for us are beyond what we could ever envision. In this surrender, we discover that His plans often exceed our expectations. They unravel in the most beautiful and unexpected ways, painting our lives with hues of joy, fulfillment, and profound meaning. His guidance takes us on paths we might never have ventured on our own, leading us to experiences that shape and transform us in ways we couldn't have foreseen. Embracing God's call means embracing a future intricately woven with His grace and providence. It's a journey where every step, every encounter, and every challenge becomes a part of His grand tapestry for our lives, a tapestry that reflects His love, mercy, and infinite wisdom. This journey isn't just about reaching a destination, it's about embracing the process, the growth, 
and the evolution that come with aligning our will with His. It's a journey where setbacks become stepping stones, where trials become testimonies, and where every moment becomes an opportunity to witness His divine intervention. Ultimately, embracing God's call opens doors to a life infused with purpose, a life where every breath resonates with His presence and every action echoes His love. It's a journey where His blessings abound, paving the way for a future filled with infinite possibilities and immeasurable joy. Absolutely, answering God's call transcends personal transformation, it's a call to become vessels of His love and light in a world that often seeks solace and compassion. It's about extending the same grace and kindness that we've received to those around us. When we answer this divine call, we are called to embody His teachings by serving others selflessly. It's about extending a helping hand to those in need, being a source of comfort to the brokenhearted, and uplifting the spirits of the downtrodden. Being a beacon of His love and light means living out His teachings through our actions. It's about being a living testament to His grace and compassion in a world that sometimes feels devoid of hope. It's through these acts of kindness, empathy, and selflessness that His love is manifested. We become channels of His love when we strive to make a positive impact, no matter how small, in the lives of those around us. It's the smile we offer to a stranger, the listening ear we lend to a friend in distress, and the compassion we show to those facing adversity. In serving others, we mirror the love that God showers upon us. It's a way of expressing gratitude for His blessings and sharing that abundance with others. By doing so, we create ripples of positivity and kindness that have the power to transform lives and communities. Ultimately, answering God's call to be a beacon of His love and light is an invitation to participate actively in His mission of spreading love, compassion, and goodwill. It's about contributing to a world where His presence is felt through acts of kindness and where His love shines brightly through our deeds. Absolutely, embracing God's call unveils a profound truth, that we are integral threads in a divine tapestry, each playing a unique role in the grand design of His kingdom on earth. This realization brings forth a call to unity, a recognition that despite our differences, we are bound together by a common purpose, woven into the fabric of His overarching plan. It's an invitation to set aside divisions and embrace the beauty of diversity, acknowledging that each individual contributes an irreplaceable part to the greater whole. God's call beckons us to embody love, compassion, and kindness in our interactions with others. It's about fostering unity among humanity, transcending barriers of race, nationality, or belief, and embracing the universal language of love. Through our actions and deeds, we have the power to bring His kingdom closer to fruition on earth. It's not just about words or beliefs, it's about actively living out His teachings, infusing every interaction with His love and light. By spreading kindness, offering forgiveness, and extending a helping hand, we become ambassadors of His kingdom, creating pockets of heaven on earth. It's through these small yet profound acts that His presence becomes tangible in our world. In answering His call to unity and love, we participate in the co-creation of a world where His values reign supreme, a world where compassion triumphs over judgment, where empathy overcomes division, and where His kingdom manifests through the collective actions of His faithful. Ultimately, embracing God's call to unity and love is an invitation to be active participants in the realization of His kingdom here on earth, a kingdom built on the cornerstone of love, compassion, and unwavering faith. Absolutely, dear friends. As we draw near the end of this enriching discussion, I encourage you to tune into the whispers within your soul, the gentle nudges, the quiet callings that beckon you towards a deeper purpose. Embracing God's call is not merely an option, it's an invitation to embark on a journey of profound significance. It requires courage, an unwavering belief in His plan, even when uncertainties cloud the horizon. I urge you to trust in His divine guidance, knowing that His wisdom surpasses our understanding. Embrace this journey of liberation and new beginnings with open hearts, knowing that each step taken in faith is a step towards spiritual growth and fulfillment. Together, let us become vessels of His love and purpose in this world. Let us be conduits through which His light shines brightly, illuminating the lives of those around us. May our actions be a testament to His grace, our words echo His compassion, and our deeds manifest His love. As we heed His call, let us support one another on this transformative journey. 
Let us create a community of faith, unity, and love, a community that reflects His kingdom here on earth. So, dear friends, listen closely to the whispers of your soul, embrace God's call with courage, trust in His plan, and step forth into the realm of liberation and new beginnings. Together, let us become beacons of His love, spreading His purpose and grace throughout this world. Blessings to each of you on this divine journey ahead. Amen. You're very welcome. It's been a blessing to share this time together. May the resonance of God's call continue to echo within your being, leading you towards a life filled with deep fulfillment, unwavering purpose, and divine joy. Remember, in your journey, embrace the liberation that comes from answering His call, seize the opportunities of new beginnings, and let His love be the guiding light illuminating your path. Until we meet again, may God shower abundant blessings upon you, guiding every step you take. Thank you for joining us today on this inspirational and motivational journey. If you found this video helpful, please share it with someone who might need a little extra motivation. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, stay blessed. Amen.